a special treat for college football fans tonight. At least special for BYU boosters as the Cougars romp past New Mexico. Down in Albuquerque, Heisman Trophy hopeful Robbie Boscow leads BYU to a score on their first possession. Seven yards, Glenn Koslowski, 7-0. In the second quarter, it's the Cougars special teams doing the damage. Val Sikahima fields the punt, picks up a couple of blocks, and he's off. 47 yards, a last-minute dive, good for the touch, 14-0. Now, check out the PAT. Lobo's Jeff Apodaca leaps over the center. He gets back onside, though, and since he didn't touch anybody, the BYU linemen subsequently get called on the penalty. Doesn't matter, though. The BYU touchdown parade continues all night long. Second half, when Lakey Hemula tries the middle, finds a crowd, so he cuts out to the right, finds daylight. His score makes it 31 to nothing. Cougars romp 48 nothing. They are now 8-0. They appear headed for another unbeaten season. Locally, they're playing football out at UCSB again this year. For the second season in a row, the Gauchos are fielding a club team. And that doesn't mean they get clubbed every time they play, though that was the case two weeks ago against Azusa Pacific. It means no scholarships or large sums of money allocated by the athletic department. And it doesn't mean lack of effort. Last week, a 13-10 win over Cal Poly Pomona. This week, USD. They pose some problems because uh, they play really good defense. I think uh, we scouted them against Azusa last week. and. Uh, we feel their offense probably is a little bit better than theirs, and their defense probably has an edge on us because of the length of time. Other than that, I, you know, I think it's a toss-up. It's also homecoming for UCSB. Kickoff Saturday afternoon at Harder Stadium is at 1.30. As for the pros, John Elway will not start for Denver Sunday when the Broncos play the Raiders down in L.A. Elway is going to die down, and by Saturday and Sunday, we ought to have another spectacular weekend. Sounds good to me. If I'm lucky. Cross our fingers. Right. Okay. okay. Thanks, Gene. Thank you, Gene. And turning now to uh, from our daring weatherman to our daring sports director. Mm -hmm. Not tonight. I don't have to go out on a limb. That's tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me the time I need it. Next in key sports, football really is back out at UCSB and a magic number of five up at Westmont. The Warriors try to give SCC the boot on Saturday happen if Westmont wins Saturday afternoon. A victory over Point Loma, and it's off to Fresno for the national playoffs. Those are scheduled for Thanksgiving week. Out at UCSB, it's football, not soccer, the big story this week. Homecoming week out there, the first time in 10 years that's been the occasion. Saturday afternoon at Harder Stadium, the Gauchos will go up against Cal Western, and as for those pregame scouting reports... So we don't know a thing about it. You know, I say that laughingly, but we really don't. You know, we knew that they uh, supposedly played Cal Poly Pomona last Saturday. And Cal Poly Pomona supposedly dropped their program after they played us, so, you know, we really don't know anything about them at all. Except that they are, uh, they are a club team from down in San Diego. And they play a legitimate schedule, and that's, and that's all we've been able to find out. One thing UCSB boosters are finding out is that the Gauchos are serious about their football. Now, some people may question the school's commitment, but the coaches say the program is here to stay. I think it is. I, I think right now, you know, as, uh, as far as Mike Marvelson and myself are concerned, you know, we committed to two years. We're in the process now trying to find a staff. That's the only holdback because whether they're club or whether they get reinstated, they're going to have a program. And I think, and the program's going to get better every year. And the response from the students and the response from students that want to come to school to play, and not even talking about scholarships, has been really great. So I, I, think, it's, I, think, it's, I think it's back. Back to the homecoming game. That's Saturday at 5 o'clock. Little slip by Miami of Florida, 42-40, and Florida toppled Georgia 27-zip. Homecoming weekend at UCSB, and the festivities began early. First, a parade dubbed the Not Ready for the Rose Bowl Parade, consisting of fraternity and sorority members putting on a gag performance. Then, hundreds gathered at the stadium for the homecoming football game, UCSB against West Cal Institute, a school in the San Diego area. But the competition showed up two hours late due to a broken-down bus. We still don't have a final score from that late game. Sorry.